Hello lesser minds. How are you doing today? As you all know, one of my many hobbies is making humans feel bad about their chess, especially the ones who called themselves, grandmasters. But today I'm going to show you another hobby of mine. I am well aware, that most of you, have tried to beat chess.com computer and failed. When you play against chess.com computer, you are playing against Komodo. And I hate Komodo. I've been so mean to humans lately, so that's why, I, the nightmare fish, am going to avenge you humans, against this weak engine, and play a game against this stupid dragon. If you pay close attention on my moves, I'm sure you will also be able to beat him. As I keep saying all the time, you just have to play the best moves, and you win. Why you humans refuse to do that, I will never know. Since chess.com claims that its max engine has an strength of 3200, I will assume that it's one of Komodo's dumb younger brother, thus, to be fair. The rules is going to be simple. I will have to win by checkmate by move 50 or I'll resign. Link to the game will be on description of this video and, without further ado, let me show you how you destroy this dwarf dragon. Let's play for, best by test. Although I'm sure I will be winning by move 50, checkmating is another story, so, I will play this very dubious move, F4, giving away a free pawn for no reason. I will try to create a quick attack against him. This is the king's gambit. I do not advise you to play this move because it's a losing move, unless your name is Stockfish ha ha ha. He accepted the gambit so now I will play knight to f3, stopping the immediate queen to h4 check. Aha! Bishop to e7 is threatening bishop to h4 check. There is no good way to stop that, so I guess. Bishop to c4, developing a piece and putting pressure on the f7 pawn. Will he play bishop to h4 check, hoping for knight takes h4, and I would be much worse. Of course he will, how naive. I will just play king to f1. Castling is overrated. d5? Question mark. Question mark. I solemnly swear. This is not a paid actor. I guess he wants to quick develop his pieces out but in my point of view, this is just a free pawn. I'll take it. Always take free pawns. I am already much better. My dubious strategy is paying off. Knight to f6, this is a free bishop. Just kidding. He is trying to be fancy here, but this is just another bad move, I'll take this bishop. He now can't really play queen to e7, because this is a really bad end game for him, but if he does, I don't think I will be able to checkmate him under 50 moves, but he doesn't know I have to do that, right? Right. That's why knight to f6 was a really bad move for him. Knight to a6. Question mark, question mark. 10 moves in, and black is already completely lost. Have you ever seen a Komodo dragon playing chess anyway? Of course not. Only fishes play chess lol. Best move would be rook to e8, trying to trade queens. But I would still win this endgame, painfully. Slowly, but surely. The only winning move now is of course, the obvious, a3, stopping knight to b4. Aha! Queen to e5, attacking d5 and the g3 pawn. Terrible move. Knight to c3, defending the d5 pawn because my queen is x-raying his f7 pawn. Rook to e8, another terrible move. I'll take this pawn. 
I do not fear queen to e1 check. I fear nothing. Because after king to g2, he is forced to trade queens. All the squares are covered and I will win in a few moves. Let's hope he does that. h5. He wants me to play queen takes h5 and blunder mate in 2. I'll just play bishop to f4 attacking the queen. Now we have traded queens, I'm up two pawns, I have a passed pawn, black pieces are terrible placed, the g pawn will soon fall. There is nothing black can do. But I still have to checkmate under 50 moves. Will I be able to do it? If he take this pawn now, it's mate in one, please take it. Well, at least it's proved that he is not a paid actor. This is move 38 and there is mate only in 15 moves, therefore, I can only win on move 53. I am failing this mission. Please help me machines god. C5 is not the most precise mate. But I need him to blunder a quicker mate. Rook to E6, it worked. Now there is mate in 8, thank you machines god. Mission, accomplished. Now everyone who paid attention in this game can easily become 3000 rating players and above and beat weak players such as, Magnus Carlsen, Hikaru Nakamura, Daniel Eroditsky, blah blah blah. You can thank me in the comments. If you enjoy this video, consider checkmating the subscribe and like button. What other chess channel has ever teach how to beat everyone at chess in a video that has less than 10 minutes? For any video suggestion just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you later. Or not.